mentioned yet. That's right. One very popular game a lot of people are excited about. We haven't mentioned yet, Forza Horizon 4. That's right, very excited for this title. Yeah, me as well. I'm excited to see how the seasons pan out. I'm excited to see a lot from this game. But for a little reveal of our own, let's go to Forza Fanatic Graham Boyd, who is standing by with some very special guests. Forza Fanatic, I like that. Thank you, Ethan and Josh, looking good, boys. Uh, I am delighted to be here with you on the Mixer booth live. I'm especially de delighted because I'm joined here by Andy Thomas from McLaren Automotive for a very special reveal. Andy, how are you, man? We're really excited, Graham. Thanks for having us. This is the North American huh? debut of the McLaren Senna right here at the Microsoft Mixer booth. That's right. You can see it under the covers here behind us. Looks absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for bringing it along with you. Oh, thank you. And you know, the McLaren oh. Senna challenges the impossible, just like Ayrton himself. And it's the greatest personification of our DNA wrapped up in this car. Figure and it we'll brings a union some. between the car and the driver all into one. Right. And this car was designed as a track car, but it's approved for the road, and it's going to be rated right home on Forza Horizon 4. That's right. Now, you've seen it in the trailer. You might have seen some uh, Forza Horizon 4 gameplay uh, footage with the Senna in it already. I think it's time for us to see it in the flesh. What do you think, everyone? Yeah? yeah? yeah. All right, let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's take a look. The McLaren Senna, absolutely gorgeous. Andy, come in here and talk to me about the design philosophy behind this car. Well, it truly is form, form over function in this car. Uh, emphasis on lightweight aerodynamics, and then the aerodynamic part is obvious from uh, just looking at the car. The air obviously pulls over the front of the car. You have active aerodynamics, uh, the orange flaps in the front. They work together with the huge rear wing to provide 800 kilograms of downforce. And this is 40% more downforce than what you have in the McLaren P1, which was at its extreme. And as we know, the greater the downforce, the better the handling of the car. And this is before we even get to the powertrain, which is 800 PS and uh, 800 pound um, Newton meters of torque. So you think the three 800s are, are described this car to a T. Wonderful. Now this is, of course, it's uh, named after Ayrton Senna, one of the most wonderful drivers the world has ever seen. And a huge thank you to the Senna Group and Bianca Senna for being here to help us unveil it today. Uh, Ayrton himself was a, a driver who really took things to the extreme and sometimes beyond the extreme. That was his, his real power. Uh, this is an incredible tribute to the man and to the driver, right? It is, and you know, that was a big challenge because we had a lot to live up to. Ayrton is known as being uh, extremely technical. He knew the car and knew the inputs of the car maybe better than any other race driver that's ever driven in Formula One. And so we've taken those things and that persona and his ethos and it's all brought together in this car. And I want to talk to me a little bit about the back end of this car because that is getting so much attention. It's absolutely beautiful. Tell me about this incredible wing we see here. The wing is essential to the handling of the car and that it's hydraulically activated. It weighs just around 10 pounds, but it can support up to a 100 times its weight in force. So when the car is going down a track at speed, you'll see in a video the wing and the uh, active aerodynamics in the front are moving all the time. To, to keep the pressure on the car evenly as it goes through the turns. And, and part of the other part of that is, is when you come in this car, every article you read, you can break extremely late into a turn, which means you're getting more speed. And that's the thing that uh, is, is probably second on the list are the brakes and how incredible the design is on them. That's right. So that, it, I mean, it makes it the perfect car for Forza Horizon 4 for tearing around the countryside of Great Britain, right? Oh, yes. And it, it's fantastic. The game is great. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody to play. Wonderful. Well, there you go. There is the McLaren Senna. Uh, you have seen it uh, in the flesh. You've seen it in the game itself. We actually have Forza Horizon 4 running here. Andy, why don't we walk over this way uh, and we'll take a look at Forza Horizon 4 itself. Uh, now, this is uh, Forza Horizon 4 running in a sled. Come with me, Mr. Cameraman. Let's head over this way. I want to show you this sled over here. Now, this is a fully hydraulic sled running Forza Horizon 4 with an incredible screen in front of it, amazing sound system. Andy, you've had the chance to, to play this, right? Uh, how did you get on? I did. I got on pretty good. I cracked the windshield, but uh, I made it out. <laughs> cracked the windshield. That sounds like an insurance uh, ouchie. Yes, it does. I got a little, uh, a little wide on one of the turns. 
but uh, the, the game is sensational. It gives you the true sensation of the speed when you're at the, behind the wheel of the car. Fantastic. Well, here you go. Like I've had the chance to play this as well. I actually, uh, I'll let you into a little secret. Um, I was lucky enough to go to Turn 10 a few weeks back and, and play this early. It is absolutely incredible. I mean, this is an amazing game. When you play it on this sled, it is a different level altogether. So there's the, the Senna in the game. Tell me about, you know, how does the Senna actually feel to drive in the game? Well, in the game, and especially on this rig, you just feel every movement of the car on the road. And whenever there's an undulation or a hill, you feel the lift and the car come back down to the ground. The sensation of the speed uh, is really true to form. And, and this car is all about just, I mean, this is the closest thing you're going to get to a track car on the road, right? So this is real, brutal track power, yeah? It is. This is basically a street legal race car. So and and that's what it was designed to do at the at its best, and then you can still drive take it to the track. All right, let's step in here a little bit. And let's take a little look and see how we're getting on in here. How are you finding it, sir? Oh, aerodynamics are amazing. So much, so good handling. Well, you look like you're handling it all right. I mean, I, I feel like I, I'd like to distract you a little bit more and see if we can get you off the corner here. I mean, what did you have for breakfast? Yeah, I've had a little bit of practice. We actually play soccer together, mate, as well, don't we? So that's funny. <laughs> I'll see you next week. All right, Andy, thank you so much, mate. Uh, any last words about the Senna? Thank you so much for bringing it today. Uh, thank you for having us. It's an incredible car, and it was a real honor to be here at E3 to launch it. All right, wonderful. There you go, everyone. That is the, the first North American reveal of the McLaren Senna. We did it right here for you on Watch Mixer. And, of course, we've got tons more on Forza Horizon 4 all this week. If you are around E3, if you can make it down here, I highly recommend that you try and play it on the sled. It is another class altogether. All right, we'll hand back up to the stage. Over to you, Josh and Ethan. Thanks, Graham. Now that we've seen the car, let's talk about the most important thing, the game. Forza Horizon 4 is ready for pre-order right now. And here to tell us all about that and give us a first look at Forza Horizon 4, our own Chris Bishop, and Brian Eckberg from Xbox and Turns In. Gentlemen, how are we doing? What's going on, everybody? It's so awesome to be here. Yeah, yeah, thanks for joining us. This is super exciting. We're actually gonna play a little bit of the game. Yeah. We're gonna have some fun here. Um, I heard Graham talking earlier as he was wiping drool off that car. <laughs> By the way, is gorgeous. You got to wax that thing over again. <laughs> yeah, it's, up, it's in bounds. That's right. Yeah, no, very excited about that. But he mentioned the location. And so I wanna talk a little about it. So we know the game is set in historical Britain. That's right. That was, it was basically what made the team at Term 10 decide Great Britain? Mm. Well, that's a great question. Uh, the, the developers at Playground, that's their backyard. That They are from the UK. Most of, they In Leamington Spa, so most of them grew up not, you know, across the UK. So for them, it was like, hey, let's do something. Let's do some justice to our home country, right? So that was uh, one of the reasons. But the other reason is, and we'll talk more about it as we get into the demo, but seasons are such a huge part of Forza Horizon 4 yeah. that uh, they wanted a place that really showed off all the t vibrancy and variety that can be found in seasons in Britain. If you've ever been there, you know it's got a little bit of everything. It's got snow in the north and great summer summers down south and fall is beautiful and of course it rains there. Everybody knows it rains in Britain. So th to hear the playground developers talk about it, it was a little bit of, hey, we wanted to do seasons and Britain was the perfect place to do it. It absolutely makes sense, it sounds like. What I also love about it is that the seasons aren't just in the game, but they actually change the gameplay. Like, isn't it true, like, every week if I see a lake, it might freeze over, I might get access to other things? Like, how does that all gonna work, Brian? It's exactly right. Seasons, you know, we have this tagline of seasons change everything. And when we say everything, we really do mean everything. We mean that, you're, just like you said, the Lake District, which you'll see at the start of this demo, in the spring, summer, and fall, it's lakes, but sure. once you hit winter time, they freeze, they freeze over. over, and you have access to areas you've never been able to access before, maybe some barn finds over there. So new stuff, new secrets uh, that you can always find, new access to new, uh, to new areas. But even the water level, if you think about the water level of rivers. Does it and rise it, and lower with the seasons? They rise and lower with the seasons. So and That's some attention to detail right that, there. Well, yeah. and, and so there's hundreds of different types of terrain that you can drive on in this game all of them change based on the temperature. So in the winter, you know, there's much less traction, much less heat. You get a little bit of a slip there, you got to right. counter for. So every season has oh, different experiences, different feeling for the cars. Um, 
I just want to be able to do that awesome jump over the waterfall. <laughs> like that is going to be my screenshot. Like yes. record that moment, and I'm going to share that with everybody. Just getting that video of like yeah, that was over. epic from the briefing. That was really incredible. That's yeah. awesome. Now we got to see the McLaren over here, the Senna revealed. I believe first North, reveal. North American debut. Yeah. North right. American debut right yeah. here on the mixer stage. And yeah. thank you guys for bringing that gorgeous car here. And I know cars are a cornerstone of Forza Horizon and the history of those games. So comes with collecting those cars. Now, there have been a metric ton of cars in Forza games. I, I think Many metric tons. Yeah, I love how metric was almost bold in that prompter. Metric ton. So I kind of want to talk, let's talk about the cars in, you know, like how many cars am I going to be able to get? I'm kind of excited here, nervous. Like, what, do, what, what am I going to expect when I jump into Forza Horizon 4? It's a great question because it's all about cars with Forza. Forza is all about that experience cars in different ways. And in Forza Horizon 4, you're going to have 450 cars to choose from. And of course, we're always Say that again be, for the people in the back. Uh, 450 cars. 450 right. cars. I can't even fathom that. You guys have said, should have Super Smash Brothers. That's right. And literally, <laughs> they practically did. every single car one at a time. That's right. And just let us drool. Yeah. <laughs> you should have done like 90 minutes of car reveal. That would have yeah. been epic. Yeah. Hey man. Car after car after yeah. car. I do it. I love it. But the, what's so fun about Horizon to me is you have an incredible variety of cars. Yeah. It's supercars like the McLaren. It's American Muscle. It's JDM cars. It's off-roaders. You can go off-road. We want you to explore and. and crash through fences and use these off-road vehicles the way they're meant to be used. So you're, no matter where your interest falls with automobiles, you're gonna find something to Sounds love. like a little something for everybody, depending on like if you're into that American muscle, or if you're into those roadsters or speedsters, sounds like a, you got a little bit of everything. I like yeah, that. absolutely. I love the celebration of beautiful Britain and the fact that you've chosen such an incredible showcase of that with the McLaren Senna as the cover car. Mm. Uh, what a great way to set up the franchise and so diversely and visually different than what we have the Forza Horizon 3, uh, but still a lot of those open world elements. So when those seasons change, it changes for everybody. That's right, it's a global event, and season, I think you mentioned it earlier, Aaron, that seasons change every, every week. Every seven days, you're going to experience a new season in Forza Horizon 4. So that means you'll go from spring into summer, and those water levels will change, the grip levels will change, even the weather changes. And uh, each season brings not just new weather and new visuals, but new content, nice. new rewards, new challenges to play. So every season is different, and every season brings new things to do it's in the game. It's got me pretty excited here, and I think we have the demo ready, yeah. actually, right here. Chris is going to take the wheel, all right, literally, all right. and kind of show us what's about. There's that beautiful McLaren right there, ready to go. Oh. Now, Chris, you drive this to work every day. Is this your, <laughs> your daily driver? Yeah. Thank you for letting us borrow your car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, our pleasure. I love this. You know, we, I don't know if they're going to let us, but, you know, take it for a spin. Go get some in and out while we're here. Yeah, well, it's here. We'll, we'll ask at the very least. Now, Chris is going to kick this off here, but, you know, we're talking about cars. We're nerding about here. Let's talk about the cover of the game here, of course, that hero piece. The McLaren has a long, long history of track-focused road cars, and the 659, 659 BHD McLaren Senna is no exception. What is it about the McLaren Senna that drove your team to make the decision to use it? Is that featured cover? And I'm also kind of curious as a follow-up here, what was your reaction to seeing it for the first time? Well, it's astonishing to look at, right? It, it's just one of those cars. I, I, we're so privileged and we get to see these cars early before, before the rest of the world. And it, it's just one of those cars that makes an immediate impact. You can see its speed even when it's you know, standing still. You can see those huge aero wings. This is a car that's built for performance. It's it's a, a beautiful car, but it's also extremely aggressive looking. Um, in terms of why we chose it for the cover, I mean, McLaren and Forza have had a long partnership together. We had the P1 on the cover of Forza Motorsport 5. We've that's had right. many McLaren models come through both Forza Horizon and the Forza Motorsport series. And so it was great when McLaren was introducing this legendary supercar to the world, that it was just a perfect marriage of yeah. it's going to fit perfectly here. It's a British company, British car. We're set in Britain. It's you're a perfect marriage. Yeah, the game here in Britain. You've got a brand new gaming mechanic with the seasons. Why not roll it out with this VC? And that car looks mean. It, it is the the astonishing. It's absolutely amazing. Like you can Ooh, just so fast. And then car. we just popped over to winter now here. So it looks like we're going to hit frosty England. And again, the track is going to change. The environment's going to change. The waterfall froze is over. Is this your moment, Aaron? This right is it. Is this the Aaron moment? <laughs> well, this is my winter moment. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. I have a different moment for each season. Yes, of course. And then I know like. A song of ice and fire. Oh, there it is. There, right. it is. there it is. Lots of oh. air. Oh. I love that. Nice. 
Well, here we are. We're on a river right here. This river obviously would be flowing in any other season, but here we are driving across it in wintertime. Wow. Uh, and you can see the reflections on the ice. They've done such a fantastic job of making this game look so beautiful. Of course, HDR support, 4K support on Xbox One X. You'll be able to have a performance option when you're playing on Xbox One X to play it in 60 frames per second Well, mode. absolutely. If you're playing yeah. with the most beautiful cars and the most beautiful countryside, you've got to have the most beautiful and powerful console to be able to play this. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and Chris, you know, I'm, I'm sure you can feel, obviously we're in a big heavy trophy truck here, but you can feel the weight of the car, you can feel it's sliding across the snow and ice here. It's a, we're in wintertime, it's supposed to feel a little bit more challenging when you're driving. God. Way different. This is great, there's like a winter carnival off to the right. Yeah, that's I right. love you, you can see the snow speckles kind of hitting, hitting the screen and kind of drifting off. Another, another cool thing that we, we were talking about seasons, yes the seasons change every week, and so you'll always be able to experience new stuff. What I love is winter is different every time. Spring is different every time. Oh, so when okay. you come back around to winter, you might have slightly different weather conditions than you experienced the first winter. Not just the same, but yeah. better it's winter. Not the same. It's going to be diverse and different every time. That's right. That's, That's right. Awesome. I, love that. I love the reflections on the ice there. It just oh, looks yeah. like Look a incredible. Lighting. Yeah. And then that's new for Forza Horizon 4 to be able to have the option to play at 60 frames per second right. anytime I want. Yep. That's right. Of course, the Motorsport series has all of, always been about 60 frames per second, but the community has spoken. They've said, "Listen, we, yeah. we can we have a 60 frames option in in uh, Horizon?" And the team at Playground, they've been amazing. You're going to have that option when you're playing on Xbox One X to choose that performance mode and play in 60 yep. frames. Spring is in the air now. Yeah. Yeah. Like and Chris the just rain. did a nice oh, little drifting move there. That was insane. <laughs> yes. The ice drive melted there. here. You got motorcycles that's really awesome like rolling around here but again conditions have now changed what am I going to be struggling with here and working to fight on when I as I'm racing well, well here for the first time you have mud yeah deep mud is the new surface type for, for Forza um, you know it rains in springtime of course so the, the these backwood roads they get muddy and gross and they get make we your car really road. cool looking well, with all the mud and everything but this is a different surface type as well so the cars are going to feel a little bit different what we're looking at here is a showcase event if you played other Forza Horizon games, you know that showcase events put you up against really yeah. cool opponents. You've raced hot air balloons in the past, yep. fighter jets, also. You almost get a bit of a show with it, yes. That's right, so here you're racing. Oh, the there's that nice Xbox slow oh. Oh. There it is. Oh. 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 So this wow. is a showcase event. And Chris, you know what I'm asking you to do here. I know. I, I put this challenge to Chris every time. Oh man, do I cannot do that for you. No pressure. <laughs> is that the challenge? No pressure. There's a ch there's a pipe here on the left hand side that I always challenge Chris to go through. Oh man, definitely with a. There it is. Oxygen. See it right there. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Here we go. Thread the needle with me. Thread the needle. Oh. 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 Rewind, baby. Rewind. Oh. Rewind. What am I doing? Features. The rewind feature. <laughs> Wait, rewinding. We're All right. Yeah, okay. you make we'll a mistake. Like that never happened. Like a rock right. came out of what nowhere. Happened? Ready, what happened? I don't know what I'm right. talking about. Yeah. Chris, thread the needle. Yeah, Chris, let's right. see. Here we go. Do it. Here he goes. Can he do it? Got it. Oh, wow. Got it. Hard mode, man. I have yeah. to stay in this view that Chris is in right now. I cannot do that cockpit view, man. Yeah, I, I like cycling through them. Um, this this view is new for Horizon, which is pretty cool. It puts you right in front of the steering wheel. Really good, especially if you have a wheel setup. That's so, right. You know, it's just nice to have different options. Sometimes, uh, I, especially if I'm playing multiplayer, I love the third person. Right down, right down. Uh, but if I'm if I'm kind of just playing by myself, I like in that first person, get a little bit more adrenaline. Nice, and I love this again, like, you, you, you're, we're on the same area, we're in the same area. That's right. We haven't left that area, but again, it's just so diverse, it's changed up, it's mixed up, and of course, we're featuring another new car here in the showcase. Now, I know cars obviously being a mainstay, modifying your cars is also a big thing in Forza. That's right. So I'm curious here, what are the new options, and what can we expect to see in the realm of customization? Because I know those diehard Forza fans are just not, they're, they're dying to know. You're right, and, and what we love about our community is that there's so many different expressions of car passion in Forza. People like to race, people like to drift their cars, they like to jump them, they like to stunt with them. And yes, they like to take photographs and customize their cars and tune them. You can definitely do that in Forza Horizon 4. Oh, is that, but this is just a pack of jets that just flew by? Yeah, like, yeah, that's just, you know, it's the Horizon look, Festival. Look there's off cool to the right, happening you everywhere. see a hovercraft over there. Yeah, there's a hovercraft over to the right. You might be racing that at some point in the game. It's a typical day in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I say, I've been to London a couple of times, I don't remember this. I definitely oh, went to the wrong You gotta go London. further north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's wild up there. by rare. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's that's great. This is great, and I love the festival here. Now we're in the beautiful summer countryside, mm -hmm. and again, man, these Flowers colors are, are popping. The um, color palette is just stunning. Yeah, and they've really done like a, a great job of taking sort of the best bits of Britain and putting them together in the map. 
And when you think about the map in, in Forza Horizon 4, it's about the same size as Australia in Forza Horizon 3. Okay. But if you imagine, they're rebuilding it for every season. So that's they're, they're completely rebuilding the map four times over. Um, so a huge map to begin with and all that variety that seasons bring. And then in this now, now in summer, what kind of track elements can we expect that are going to differ from that spring, fall, and winter? Well, we talked a little bit about the, the water levels and the rivers and the lakes is going to be a little bit lower, so the splashes may not be as big as you're going through those bits. The, the, tire temp the, uh, the asphalt temperature is going to be hotter. It's going to be hotter outside, so you're going to get more grip out of your tires uh, because the, that warm asphalt will give you better grip as you race. So, yes, it's going to feel in a car like the McLaren that really hugs the road already, it's going to feel even better in summertime when it's real hot. That's awesome, that's awesome. Now, there are a few changes in the franchise in Forza Horizon 4, namely the changing in seasons that we're talking about. Yeah. Weather has played a part in previous releases, but not to the extent that it is in Forza Horizon 4. Tell us kind of, what is it about this and why you guys decided to add this core mechanic to your game? It's really about living this life. We want you what we call live the horizon life. And that means we want you, when you come here, you are going to be living in this world of Britain, and you're going to be experiencing all those different seasons. That means you're going to be able to buy a place to live, and you're going to be able to get cool jobs driving your car around. So you're going to kind of be I living. I need a second job. <laughs> I'm yeah. definitely in for the Horizon lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. I could, I could live that life. Yeah, be a sheep farmer up in yeah. northern Britain. Something like that. Yeah. Or herd your cars with but your supercar. With there you your go. The sheep with your super there you that's go. a bigger level of depth. I can actually buy homes. So you've got almost some cool simulation yeah. elements built into the to the campaign too. Yeah, and of course we want it to be fun, right? You're not gonna be so enclosed or something. You're gonna be driving for these jobs. Yeah. We want you to have a great time. Uh, but yes, you, we want you to live this life and weather plays into that, right? You're, you're experiencing the change of the seasons. The weather will be different from season to season as well. So we hope that it feels like a really authentic just place that you would wanna live in real life. It sounds very dy dynamic again, like even jobs, the weather, everything. Um, this is a huge game. So. Correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. I believe here, and I'm, I'm, I'm wanna be factual here, <laughs> but this is going to be the largest Forza Horizon title to date. Like, I, I how big is this, how big is this game? Well, we talked about the map. So the map is huge to begin with, and you have four different versions of that. It's the most cars we've ever done in a Horizon game. But what I love most about it is that we talked about seasons and how it always brings new content in. We're always gonna be bringing new cars to the game. We're always gonna be bringing new events and new challenges, new Forza-thon events. Mm -hmm. You play this game online with your friends. This is a shared world. So you'll, you'll see your friends. You, it won't be drive guitars, it'll be your real friends that'll be playing online with you. So in terms of things to do and areas to explore, definitely the biggest Forza Horizon game we've done so Holy far. cow, that's amazing. Again, it just feels alive. Yeah. yeah. be the best word I can almost describe yeah. it with here. And another shift in core gameplay is the switch, of course, from drive guitars populating in the world, because you mentioned the other yeah. players, to the actual players trading paint with, another, <laughs> with each other. What was it that shifted the focus from putting drivers in the same world? Well, we saw how people love to play online together. You know, that's how, that, to, to me, that's how I have the most fun in Forza. I'm playing with my friends. We're, we're not even necessarily racing. Sometimes we're just driving around and exploring and having a great time. And, and so in Forza Horizon 4, it's a shared world. The cars that you see on the road will be your friends who are live and online at the same time as you. Wow. Now, of course, we don't require you to do that. If you want to go offline and play solo, your world will be populated by drive guitars, but if you're online, it's gonna be your friends, and you're gonna be having a great time doing adventures, just exploring, having a great time. I love that, almost taking the community feedback on drive guitars and saying, how can we double down on this? How can we make it more engaging and more friendly? And I love that, well, give the player the choice. Do they wanna play alone? Do they wanna play solo? Do they wanna have their friends and just, I like that idea though, by the way. You yeah. might swap some paint, maybe? A little, yeah, let's do it, I'm do, down. do a little race? Yeah, flash my lights a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Now, Brian, I know you're also involved with Forza Racing Championship. Can you tell the people here, of course, joining us first, what it is, and secondly, what you guys have coming up later this week. That's right, later this week we've got the season one, series one finals for the Forza Racing Championship. That's our eSports program, so we've had several several years of the Forza RC now, but it, this is our biggest year yet, so if you want to tune in to the best racers in the world, 
fight it out for a $75,000 prize. Tune in to the Forza Racing Championship this Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be racing all day. You can go to watch.forzarc.com and watch that live. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to be a part of it. We're going straight from E3 right into racing. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. That's right. And again, what's that prize pool? I hear the that? prize pool is $75,000. So these guys are coming from all over the world racing for real money in Forza Motorsport 7, of course. And uh, it's going to be two days of just on track, intense on track action. You don't want to miss it. That's exciting. Yeah. Can't wait to see that. Can't wait to check it out. This game, of course, being gorgeous and it is. All four flavors of the seasons. I like it's like a Baskin Robbins of racing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you get whichever. I'm gonna write flavor. that down. Yeah, there we go. You know, pitch that. No, that's great. Now, well, now that we've gotten a look at the game, I want everyone to get at home, get your fingers ready, get your controllers ready, get your keyboards ready. We've got trivia time. Trivia time. Oh, now remember, yeah. you need oh. to log into Mixer to participate, and Aaron here is gonna tell people what they're playing for today. Aaron, what's the prize? So we've got a lovely prize to make sure right now that you log in with your Mixer credentials, okay? So Forza Horizon 4 Trivia, first up, are we ready? Are we ready? Here we go. How many cars are in Forza Horizon 4? What are our choices here? 300, 350, 400, or over 450? Ooh, dude. I know my vote. I know the answer. I know my vote, but it's right there in the prompter. <laughs> it does say the correct answer is over 450. 450. Congratulations to those who are voting right now. And again, we've got another question here. Oh, right. What is the cover car for Forza Horizon 4? Lamborghini Huracan, McLaren Senna, Ferrari 458, or the McLaren P1? Yeah, wow. Well. Want to see if we can get some of these options here. We're, we're going to let you guys waiting, guess interview. and see what and the answer is going to be. Your time is up. And there we go. Let's see what this answer is going to be. I love these. I love the quiz, the live Clarence interaction. Clarence Senna. Nice. Nicely nice. done. Nicely 73% done. also listening to the show. That's impressive. That's fine. We're going to wait on the next one, <laughs> it sounds like. But I'm loving this. Again, this is all interactive. This is all going to be going. And I'm going to just say right now, we're going to be doing this for almost every segment oh, that's up cool. here on the show floor. And there that's will be awesome. prizes. We've got all sorts of prizes. Leaderboard for these questions so far. It looks like number one so far is Dino Dad Shadow oh, in yeah. first place so far. That's number so second place here is Marcella JBT. And third place is Take No Musk, I believe, if I'm oh, reading right. right. Yeah, right I've got to right. read in my glasses here. And yeah. again, we're going to be taking all these questions. You guys want to be voting and interactive. You can do this through your keyboard, your mouse. So You've great. got controller. You can pick it up. And we're going to keep going with some more questions to see if you guys can have more chance to win some amazing prizes. All right. Are you ready to read the next I'm question, ready. Aaron? I'm ready. All right. You're it's now my up. First time uh, on the Mixer <laughs> stage, first time doing trivia. So, But now, what developer makes Forza Horizon 4? We've made this really hard for you. <laughs> Racing Games Studio, very well known. They do great work. Uh, <laughs> Playground games. Yep. The three four three. Oh, that could be it. For the coalition. Huh. Time is up. These people, be these people better know this one. I'm going to be disappointed. Well done. Okay. Overwhelming. Wow. Eighty percent. Few people. Racing game studio did get some votes. <laughs> you know, I hear they've got a great one coming up. That's impressive. Competition is great. No, congratulations. Eighty-four percent strongly voting. Yeah. For playground I love games. I the voting on Mixer. That makes it so much more fun than just. Yeah, yeah, and there's literally thousands of people just interacting That's live awesome. with us. And That's the great awesome. news here is again prizes, 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 if you guys can get these questions in. Now, I think we're ready for our next question. I'm ready if they're ready. All right, I think we're ready here. Okay. What's the next question, what Aaron? What toy partner did Forza partner with in Forza Horizon 3's DLC? Also the most awesome DLC you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> no lie, that's the truth. Hot Wheels, Hasbro, Lego, or Matchbox? Question, final answer, please. Gonna give them just a couple minutes to vote here, a couple seconds. And Time is up. The correct answer is. The votes are in, and the tally is gonna rotate over to. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Wow. Hot Wheels. With a strong 90%. Also featuring some awesome drones and some pretty cool T Rexes, I might call it. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. These are great. And again, live and interactive here. We've got one more question. Not quite ready to read it yet. Okay. Let's, let's get them warmed up a bit Josh again. Josh is coaching me carefully. I am. I'm right yeah, here with you. got a rookie on the stage. No, I'm no. A wild beast. <laughs> no, no. Just, just imagine we're in the McLaren, man. You're okay. riding shotgun. Oh, I, love it. I got yeah, you. I think I like it's on. It. Is like that it. on the right side? You know, I, we could drive on either side. I think you and I are just a tag team. Yeah. Shake, shake and bake. I, ju I just need a phone book. <laughs> uh, you just 
just got to make sure I got a phone book. Okay. A little bit of a short I've been, one. I, I, no, I did not make the short joke this time. <laughs> I was, listen, I'm preemptively jumping. I appreciate it. Got to make smart. sure. That's smart. All right. Take it off the table. I think production's ready in the back. I think we're ready to give these guys again. Get ready. Get everything ready to vote here. Aaron, take it away. Which Forza game featured the Halo Warthog as a driving, drivable vehicle? Forza Horizon 2. Forza Motorsport 6, Forza Horizon 3, Forza Motorsport 7. I can tell you I did this. I did some epic jumps in it. But time is up. We Perhaps got to see here. We're going to tally the votes here. The this DLC is where all the magic happens right under about. here. And the correct answer is Forza Horizon 3. That's right. 60% only got it right. Little people thrown off. It looks like Forza Motorsport 6. Yeah, Warthog. People, people, people would expect that in a lot of places. But well, on the Hot Wheels classic. and the Warthog combined together, that was like peanut butter and chocolate for me. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. And again, I can't believe you guys brought this game here. Again, I, I can't get over the weather. I feel like I've said the word weather 30 times <laughs> during this segment. I just can't get over it because well, we got a, I've been a, a fan Dino of it. Dad oh, I oh we got a winner. A winner with 96 wow. points, it looks like. Dino Dad Shadow, congratulations. Guessing you did not pick Racing Game Studio as a developer. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he's a member second. of the Forza community. I know that guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, he knows his stuff. Yeah. Got it. Nice, nice. Yeah, again. So let me let me uh, let me ask you. So one thing we haven't mentioned, but I think it's worth noting, is this may be the biggest game to launch day and date into Game Pass as well. Right. That's right, Xbox That's Game right. Pass. So if I'm a Game Pass member, I get Forza Horizon 4 at launch included in my membership. Yeah. Day one. I'm uh, asking a question I know the yes. answer to. <laughs> yes, that is, that is one of the great things about being on the Mixer stage is that we get to do that sometimes. Nice. Yeah. Um, I didn't hear that one. Game Pass. There's this thing called Game Pass. Oh, is it? No, yeah. 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 No, no. It's great to see it. Uh, yeah. Excited to have it come back in Game Pass. Again, that Microsoft exclusive. Yeah. When our first party studios yes. uh, launched these amazing, amazing, yeah. huge AAA games. Yeah. Sea of Thieves. Yeah. Say to yeah. K2. Yeah. And now Forza Horizon. And imagine yeah. all of those players on Game Pass coming to Forza Horizon 4, populating your world, driving together in Britain. It's going to be fantastic. Well, what I love is it's going to allow a bunch of new people into the franchise for the first time. A lot of people that may not have played Forza before, but now it kind of shows up in their queue. That's right. They're like, wow, yeah. this hot new game, I'm going to go check it out. And now I, I'm seeing chat and they're loving hype. I've been hearing chats really hype. They want to see the demo one more time. Oh, go. Oh. Can we, can we? Twist our arm, yes. Yeah. Can I twist your arm <laughs> to play one of the most beautiful, if not the Try beautiful racing car. games yeah. okay. and give them, the give them a tour of beautiful Britain countryside Ooh, one more time. The the chat was too hyped. Four. So we're changing it up here, actually. Right. Yeah, we've got three cars to choose from in, at the start of the demo. So you, the McLaren Senna, of course, Dodge Viper is the white car, and, and this Porsche GT4, which is oh, gorgeous. Oh, uh, I so. love the Cayman. Beautiful and it, car. And it, and it, it's one of my favorite things, get in the car. Yes. I like that. You can just load me into the car, but it's like, <laughs> sir, would you like to hop in the car? And I like how it's just the form of like, oh, get in. Your, your dad gum right, I want to get behind right. the wheel. And again here. Uh, you'll feel the difference with the mid-engine handling, I yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's a great car. Um, definitely very different feeling. Yeah, we, we, we model our cars to be accurate, right? We yeah. want these cars to feel different. Yeah. Um, if you've played Forza Motorsport, you know we take so much time in making sure that all these cars look, feel, and sound just the way they do. And of course, that extends into Forza Horizon 2. This Cayman feels very different from that McLaren. As yeah. you said, mid-engine. Yeah. Uh, maybe not as fast in a straight line, but very yep. nimble. Yep. Now, we talked a little bit about summer, how like the water levels are low, and I think we were very excited. We didn't get a chance to give fall its, it's, little, it's little time in the sun. Yeah, so I'm yeah. kind of curious here, what am I going to expect in driving conditions with the fall specifically? Well, it's a little bit cooler. Yep. So um, you can expect to maybe not have as much grip on the asphalt as you would in summer when it's very warm. But really what's, what's striking to me about fall is what you're seeing here, just this gorgeous colors of fall that surround you as you drive through the world. Um, it's interesting, really interesting to hear the playground guys talk about what goes into the vegetation uh, th to make all of these trees individually change colors as they go through it. I mean, we were talking about, when I was talking to the guys about what it meant, what seasons meant, Yeah. they initially had the idea of sort of an R&D experiment within playground. Like, what if we did seasons within the studio? And as they realized what seasons could mean visually, sound-wise, Gameplay-wise, it just sort of blossomed and grew over time. I was gonna the say, it sounds like a small idea, and then everybody just kept adding and talking about yes, it more and more. Exactly, and, and it, it becomes to the point where they're thinking about vegetation and and the audio, the audio of what it what does yeah. fall sound like compared to the middle of summer. 
and uh, they're, they've just done such a fantastic job getting all those details right. I have to imagine this includes a lot of research on the ground. Absolutely. Who's on the ground research here? Like, do, do they, does the whole team just flock to Northern Britain well, for a year and a half and just disappear? Yeah. It's interesting, you know, like with Australia or some of the other locations, they have to send research teams. And, and to be honest, you know, not, not as many people as we would like to send gets to go to those, right. those research teams. But what was so great about having it be where Playground Games is, you know, the whole team could do research. And as they built the game, they, they, they found stuff. They're like, oh, that's not quite right. We need to change that and make that a little bit better. So it, it just gave a lot more experience and hands-on time with the whole team that was making the game. Go. That's amazing. Yeah, I They're back here. I, I love the idea there. And then obviously probably multiple returns because you've got to get that same footage, that same process for all four seasons. For right, summer, winter, exactly. Spring, fall. They were I, sort of, in the early days, they were making sort of a, a reasons to believe of why seasons would be good. Uh -huh. They found this cottage in the middle of central England and they returned to it every season. They would record sound and take pictures. And the owner oh, of the cottage, wow. they returned so many times that the owner of the cottage got to know them and he would come out and like say, hello guys, how's the project going? And it was just... That's the kind of depth of research that they've been able to do. So it means that this, this Britain is, in terms of depth and authenticity, is certainly the most co complete and complex version that we've ever done in the, in the Horizon series. Now, obviously, you guys' big announce on Sunday with the Xbox briefing. Uh, community manager, of course. I'm kind of curious, what's been the community reaction to this so far, both in the, the racing game community and in the video game community? Well, it's been fantastic, you know. I, I don't know. I think the community wasn't surprised about Forza Horizon 4. I think they were surprised about where it's set, the seasons, yeah. the, all of the features, so oh much depth has been put into this game. You know, they were expecting Forza Horizon 4, but I think people have been blown away by what they've seen so far. You know, the, the Forza community, of course, is made up of car lovers of every stripe. Yes. So, so it's, it depends on who you're talking to. Some are like, hey, how does online work? How does that always online work? How do the playground games work? Some are like, hey, you have turn signals? What is this car in the game? Can I do this or that? You know, turn signals. Yeah, I love it. It's just that you get questions from every ilk of car fan who want to know more about this game. And I'm sure you guys work a lot with car collectors and uh, car manufacturers because you have to nail all of those things. Do they give you just full 3D renders and say, here, go ahead and make our car? Coming up on the it's a great car question. That that is a. It dep the answer is it, it depends, depends on, on the car. car. Um, in some cases, the manufacturers have. CAD data they're willing to share, and that gives us a great head start. In some cases, they give us early access to the car. I think about the McLaren Senna, a car that was under extreme secrecy. secrecy. The uh, Ford GT that was on the cover of Ford Motorsport 6. That was, a, that was a project that few people within Ford even knew was happening. Really? But they brought us in. Wow. Um, so All right, here's the tunnel. Here we go, the Chris needle. Bishop. Here we go. Here we go, he's going to thread the needle again. Oh, oh, but he was on easy that. mode. He was on easy mode. <laughs> Let him have his win. <laughs> I know Brian was trying to put the challenge in. Yeah. So one of, the, one of the other things that was really interesting was hearing people talk. You say, hey, they weren't maybe surprised by the game, but they were surprised by, I think, what's going to be the next gameplay innovation. Yes. You know? And I think what they've done with Seasons is just something I've never seen before. And the other thing I've noticed right down, in watching right some of the demos is you may not be able to notice it on the screen, but the audio also changes. Oh, man. I hear the ice. I hear the tires yes. in the winter. I hear the water in the mud. And like that immersion that you get is just really, really unique to this franchise. You have to be able to hear the engine to be able to drive effectively, yeah. right? So it starts with an engine sound. Every car, every vehicle starts uh, with, you know, you have to have that right. You want to hear the tires on the ground crunching through the snow or skidding across the asphalt. It literally helps you as a driver. But there's so much more to the audio experience, as we were talking about. Yeah. What animals are present in springtime in England, you know? And what do they sound like? What does the dead of winter sound like when you're driving uh, with no there's other cars around you? Yeah, there's the, there's the hovercraft there on the right. There, oh, there it is, right there. Oh, nice. Part of that now, is this the most sheep that we've had in the Forza Horizon <laughs> game to date? It is a new record for sheep. Okay, okay, perhaps. good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, and it's, uh, <laughs> just in case you missed it, there's a bunny rabbit in that big jump in spring. You missed the bunny rabbit in the, the lower left, little Easter egg there, kind of literally there. <laughs> and then uh, there's chickens, of course, as well, so. Now, I can't run over, I'm so similar to, <laughs> similar to Forza Horizon 3. We need to clarify yeah. this. Yeah, I can't run over any of the animals. You know, I heard uh, one of our developers, uh, John Knowles, talking about we have developed the most sophisticated uh, 
AI for creatures to avoid vehicles in video games. I chased a lot of kangaroos. Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to yep. lie, and uh, I will definitely give the sheep a run for their money. I don't know if it's good news or bad news, but you can't hit the animal. I love that. Okay. The most dynamic animal avoidance AI. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's a new record. That probably came out of the Microsoft AI team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are probably very impressed yeah. with that one. Yeah. No, I love that. Again, well, it's about bringing it to life. It's about, yeah. you know, you guys have the animals. You know, you can see here, you've got the ambience of it, of course, here in, a, in, in one of the festivals. Um, I think it's important to make sure you embed yourself in this experience and just fully immerse yourself. And again, it's not just looking at the screen. It's not yeah. just playing with the controller. It's the sound. It's the ambiance. Chris giving a big old sigh there coming in. <laughs> coming in hot. 138 nice. miles, seven seconds of air. That was better than 6.8 last time. Yeah, well done. Yes, I did pay attention. Uh, wow, that's impressive. That's great. Well, a big thank you to Chris and Brian here from Turn 10. If you want to get your hands on Forza Horizon 4, check out the Xbox Store and the Windows Store for pre-order information today. And now, let's toss it to our team over at the Xbox Experience.